What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Vids, and today we're going to be taking a look at five great city tweaks that have been released around the April 2016 area. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First up, we have Volume Mixer 2. This one's available for 99 cents, and this basically allows you to view all the different volume levels for certain things that you do on your device. So there's ringer, uh, audio slash speaker, your Bluetooth headset, your Bluetooth headphones, and of course your phone call receiving. So basically, normally in iOS, you can only adjust the one that you're basically in right now. For example, if I'm listening to audio on my device, I can't adjust my ringer with the volume buttons. It just lets me do audio. Same thing with ringer. If I'm in my ringer mode, I, can, I can't I can adjust other volume. This basically allows you to adjust everything from the same section no matter what you're doing so you can get access to everything. This is really useful. So if you open up settings on your device, you can configure the tweak to your liking. Just open up volume mixer 2. First thing you want to do is go into activation methods and choose the activation method for it to pop up. I use a chip up price of the home button as you saw earlier. Uh, then some other options. One of the ones I like is choose audio categories. For example, I don't have a Bluetooth headset or a Bluetooth headphones, so I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck these so it's not going to clutter up the interface. And now it's much cleaner because all the options actually apply to me. So uh, again, there's various other options to configure within the settings. There's some skins and again, some various other tidbits and things that you could configure to your liking but it's a really solid tweak i like it again for example the other day i was listening to music and i wanted to adjust my ringer and i just couldn't do that without going into the settings and this tweak fixes that issue and allows me to adjust everything from one you know panel no matter what i'm doing on my device and i really appreciate that once again it's available for 99 cents you should definitely go check this one out so next up we have marquee this one's available for free and this basically will give you a longer folder title the option for a longer folder title as you can see there it's basically just rotating because i have a abnormally long title just for the demonstration of this video so i don't know if you want to get really specific and type in a really long title this tweak is definitely for you i personally don't see need for this but it does what it says and it works exactly as advertised so if that's something you sounds like you want to check out go download it so next up we have sms save this one's available for free this allows you to save iMessages or text messages. So basically just tap and hold on any message inside a thread and you'll see a new save button. If you tap on that, it'll tell you that it's been saved. Just click OK. And now if you go back to your conversations list, up at the top towards the compose button, you'll notice a new star icon. Just tap on the star icon and basically it's going to show you a list of all the messages that you favorited with this tweak. As you see, as you can see, there's the one I just favorited. We can just tap on it and it's going to tell us some information, for example, the sender, the date it was received, etc. So again, if you just want to reference a message for, you know, save a message to reference it later, this tweak could definitely help you do that. And it works again exactly as advertised and it's free. So next up we have Molar. This is $1.99. $0.99, cents, and this helps you use your Bluetooth keyboard with your iOS device more efficiently. It adds various keyboard commands and stuff like that from Mac OS to iOS. One of my favorites is the command tab to basically get a little quick switcher so you could cycle through your open applications. As you can see right there on the phone, we get that little quick switcher. And again, that's exactly the same thing you get on Mac OS. So basically, you can get some of those features from the keyboard on Mac OS. And also, the iPad Pro has some of these on your smaller iOS device. So pretty useful. Uh, there's also there's tons of and tons of other options that's just one thing uh an another one of my favorites is the tab the ability to hit tab to basically uh switch different ui elements as you can see here in cydia down below at the bottom you could notice there uh, when i'm hitting the tab key it's basically just highlighting certain options and if i wanted to tap on one of those options i could just hit the enter key on the keyboard for example i'm on the changes tab right now if i hit enter it's going to take me right there just like that uh, so you can basically kind of navigate without actually touching the screen. So let's select the refresh button. How about that? So refresh is highlighted. We're going to select enter and it is now refreshing. So this doesn't work in every application. Some applications have issues with it, but you know, it's, it's something it's trying to do something cool and it does work a majority of the time. However, again, there are issues, for example, with the settings application, I'll show you here. Um, when I'm trying to hit the tab key to kind of go through the UI elements, as you can see here, it's basically, it just completely blanks out the settings app and you have to relaunch it. But again, it does work in various applications. Again, you saw there with Cydia, it worked perfectly. And again, with various other apps, it will work, but it's kind of hit or miss. But the streak's really cool. And again, it's trying to do something that I think is a really cool idea. Just port some of those Mac OS keyboard, you know, options to iOS. And also, again, a lot of these belong to the iPad Pro as well. 
Now, if you want a, a list of everything that this tweak does, just go into the, dis the description in Cydia. And as you can see here, it gives you a huge description of everything so you could get, so you could basically take full advantage of the tweak. So definitely go check that out. And once again, it's available for $1.99 and it's called Molar. All right. And our fifth and final tweak is Switch HUD. This one's available for free and it's very similar to Volume Mixer 2. Essentially, it fixes one of the problems that Volume Mixer 2 fixes. This is just, again, that single problem. So it's much of a simpler tweak. Basically, as you can see, I'm listening to music on my device and let's say I wanted to adjust my ringer as you can see here as I mentioned earlier it will only let you adjust the volume with the volume buttons basically with this tweak you can set an activator action for it and then you perform the action and it's simply going to switch it back to the ringer as you can see here so now I can adjust my ringer and my music is still playing it's still playing as you can see here in the control center again it just allows me to adjust the ringer and I could perform the action again and it'll go back just like that so again it's just a very watered down version of volume mixer 2 just go into activator after you've installed the tweak and choose a gesture again I use the triple press of the home button as you can see right here and again after that it works exactly as advertised and again it's a really cool tweak so uh, again for volume mixer 2 it's a little bit more extensive but switch HUD is just that simpler issue but that pretty much wraps up this video so if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on city of tweaks jailbreak content and some iOS content as well also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter like it on Facebook and also make sure to follow me on Twitter I'll put all those links down below in the description let me know what you guys think about these tweaks down below in the comment section I'm definitely interested to hear your thoughts as always and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out